Hello to everyone, another CX episode obviously because they're going to be every Friday from now on. We've got more than enough content to carry on with this build. It's going to be done, I mean in real time it's done in two weeks and a two week build I mean, to me is an absolute mammoth task. But we're going to be spreading out, I mean what's the use of just dumping all that footage on you at once? Where's the pleasure in that? So we've got the CB some, no we're not even doing this. CV750. So we've got the CX500 frame back from powder coaters. It is here, back. It was such a rush getting out there. I mean, I didn't even record footage of the actual final fabricated frame at the end of that episode because simply we just had to, you know, it was either going to go to the powder coaters today or it was going to be delayed by an extra week. And we really didn't want that seeing as I'm only here for two weeks. So that is the frame. What we're going to do today is put a few bits together, put the swing arm together put the engine into place and then carry on trying to see if we can modify that tank and fit and modify the seat cowl as well. So that is today's job list. So time's ticking, time's running out. Let's get to it. So looking at what shocks we could take off the shelf here at Dime City Cycles, we could just go with some amazing Olins, which are well known, or some equally known Hagon shocks. Both are a really good choice, but seeing as this is a budget build, we are going to go with some TECs, which are superb for the price, they're fully adjustable, and they're not going to break the bank, and it's something that everyone could afford to buy. This is my triple tree. It's all painted and everything like that. But what I did originally want was to use this one. So this is off a Honda CB350. And it's nearly the perfect fit. It's 33 mil uh, for the forks. But this little shaft is here. It doesn't quite line up to that. So that's a real bummer that I can't use that because I could have drilled and then put some rental clamps and all sorts on, but never mind. We'll head with this but that is there if you've got a cb 350 750 650 anything other than a cx it's here for you
So that is all we're going to do for, for this video. We've kind of assembled the frame, I think, you know, a few little bits on, and the, I think that's all we're going to do. Days are going so fast here, yeah, and check out this little KZ build back here by Manny. Manny! Look at him and I are the only people that can understand that. That's a brilliant little build, so he's spent so long, he's even spent the weekend, so we came in at the weekend and sorted that out, and he finished the lines on this tank and everything, it looks absolutely great. Don't forget, Head over to Dime City Cycles' website, see if there's any parts that you like there. Also, follow them on Instagram, follow them on YouTube, and more importantly, head to the Dime City Cycles link below and donate five pounds, and you might even win the CX500. So, subscribe to this channel if you like the content. There'll be more CV, CX videos, Ducati monsters, everything that you can think of. And also visit clubboltindustries.com if you want to see if there's any merchandise that you like. But more importantly, head to the link below and donate your five dollars now. So next week's video will be more CX build, there'll be more Ducati and all sorts, anything that I decide to put up, so I'll be there next week. So until then, I say stay safe and I will see you next week. Uh.